Welcome in this tutorial, I show you how you can set up a hut that adds an UI to the player's viewport. First, I'll create a new widget. Right click for that on the content browser and then on the user interface, click on widget blueprint. Then just click here on user widget. I will just call it wb underscore UI. And let's open this. And here, just search for canvas panel and add it here. And then I will also add a text here. So we will later see if this widget will be displayed or not. Just compile and save, go back to the map. And now we need to go to the world settings. If you don't see the tab, just click here on window and then enable them here. So since I'm here in the first person template, there is already a game mode selected. But if you don't have a game mode selected, you need to create one, otherwise you won't be able to change these default values that always belong to the game mode. So just make sure you have a game mode and then we can go here to the hut and create a new hut. I will just leave it at the name new hut. And also if we create it here with this plus, you should see that this hut class is now here selected. If not, then select it here. So now go to the event graph of this hut and here on event begin play we want to search here for create widget and as class select the widget we just created. As return value we want to store it first in an extra variable. So just drag from here and promote a variable. I will just call it UI ref and now we can add this UI ref variable to the viewport. So just search for add to viewport. So let's try and play. Now you should see the hut that's working. And now how can we access this widget here? Let's say when a player and we do something and then we want to update a variable here. So for that, I will just go now to the uh, first person character, for example. So here we could say, for example, whenever the player jumps, we want to update a variable in our widget. So we'll just go here to the input action jump and here cast to the hut you have created. I will just cast here to the new hut, not the hut class. So just new hut. And for the object, we need to get the player controller first. And from the return value of the player controller, we can now search for get hut. And from this return value, just connect it here with the cast. So in here, we can now get the UI ref variable we have created in this hut. And here we could now execute a function inside of the widget. So I'll give an, a quick example for that. Just go here to the widget again. And let's say we want to change the text. So first I will set the text to is variable. So we will be able to change it in the graph. Now go to the graph. And in here I will create a new custom event that will update our text. Now we can drag in our text block and from here we can set the text. Just connect it and I will just type in here. Hello for example. And compile. Now go to the first person character back. And in here we can from this UI ref now execute this custom event update text. We just need to connect it here. And now if you play, you would see now the text is text block. And if we jump, it should change to hello. So it worked. If it was helpful, I would be very happy about a like and sub and see you next time.